So let's get right into this. This is about Ableton MIDI chords. How to get the most out of the MIDI effect. So let's start. Let's get a piano sound and open a new MIDI effect rack. So we're just literally going to drop a pitch MIDI effect into the rack. And we're going to duplicate the MIDI effect twice. And each MIDI effect will have a different pitch. So the last one will have, um, we'll set it to minus to seven. And, this, and the second will be four. So let's mess with that. Four means major, three means minor. The second, the second item in the chain is where we we affect the chord. And that's really all you need to know here, actually. Um, then what we do is we on the second um, item in the chain, we just add a random. So we're going to set the chance to about fifty percent. So fifty percent chance, and. On the choices, we're going to select three and four and add mode. And only two choices will be optional or will be <laughs> available, and that's three and four, minor and major. Every time you press the key, it'll be either a minor or major, and the chance of a minor or major appearing will be 50%. You can tweak it a little bit if you want a bit more of a minor sound to, to your chord or a major sound, you can tweak the chance. So here I am recording the, just by pressing a single key, I'm recording chords into the DAW, to Ableton. I mean, this isn't the greatest set of chords in the world, but what it does is just literally throws random chords into your session arrangement, sorry, uh, which you can mess around with. Then you can add some further depth by adding another chain. And this is literally to give it a, an octave lower in terms of notes or an octave higher to give it more, give your chords a bit more depth. But you're not, you're not changing the chords major or minor, you're still keeping the second chain in there. And you can add some random and some compression MIDI, these are MIDI effects called random or compression to give some random feel to the velocity uh, and sound so it doesn't sound the same throughout okay so it means some chords are going to be lighter some are heavier in terms of their touch and their velocity and that gives it a sort of more of a natural feeling So then you can actually route your MIDI into another MIDI channel and actually get all the chords, which is what I've just done here. And then you can mess around with the chords and create, um, create the song and just keep messing and messing until you get what you want. So thank you and goodbye. And remember to subscribe and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.